Hey guys, it's uh, 8 o'clock Sunday morning. It's uh, another John Kerry day, and in case uh, anybody doesn't know uh, who I mean by John Kerry, I mean John Kerry's 1963 Jag. He's out in California. I don't see any clouds. Blue sky in every direction. And lots of junk. Anyways, um, I'm going to work on this piece here, or these parts here, this section I should say. Yeah, that's a better way of terming it. This section, uh, there's no reason why I can't see myself being able to finish that today. After that, I suppose I should work on the fender, but uh, let's not get ahead of myself here. So, let's get to it. Okay, there's patch number one in. It went down here, across there, up, across like, actually up there and across like that and up into there. I haven't trimmed the top because this will establish where, how that wants to, uh, what that profile wants to be. I might have actually trimmed it too short here, but hopefully not. Uh, I think we'll probably be okay. So, next is I'm gonna cut along here, all the way over, and I'm gonna rebuild this seam. Uh, the seam will come at about a half an inch, or three-eighths of an inch, half an inch, it looks about half an inch. Then it'll come down and go along here like approximately like that, just enough so that it overlaps into this so that I can tie into it. With the cowl, I'll also cut out this section, I'll probably bring it almost all the way back to here, we'll see how we go. And, uh, well, maybe just back to there. I really only want to cut out the brazing. I don't want to cut out too much. And uh, and then we'll uh, go on to the next patch. Well, it doesn't look great, mainly because there's so much pitting up along here. Uh, there, unfortunately, going to be a fair bit of Bondo up in here. Anyways, I filled in this area. I didn't, I only welded, you know, like in a few spots along here because I didn't figure it was a structural piece, so it wasn't going to be a problem. I had a bitch of a time welding up in here because there ended up being a bunch of lead in there. Oh, so, this is piece number two, and it's already mid-afternoon. Uh, piece number three will be this piece here. I'll tie it across into here. I haven't welded this little seam here because I don't know where this is going to end up getting cut down to, so I figure I'll weld it at that time when I bring that piece across. Then that piece and that piece. So, oh, and then that piece and then this piece. No, it's on and on and on. Okay, on to this piece. No wisdom in this other than don't do it. <laughs> so here's patch number three that I've got clamped in place and it's cut to size. There's patch number four that is not quite cut to size, but it'll tuck in there like that underneath the other one. I still have to cut it a bit down. So let's weld in patch number three and then we'll work on patch number four, and then we come to patch number five, and then there's a six, and bottom of that thing, which is a seven. Anyways, yikes. Okay, that's patch three in. Patch four just set in place. I have to trim this lip. I blew through a bit there, but uh, I think some of that will be trimmed off anyway, so I'm not too worried. That does go underneath it, and I won't trim this flange off. Uh, until I've made this piece that comes across to here, but I can't really, or I don't really want to make that piece until this piece is in place because it uh, connects with it, if you actually saw that on camera. Okay, let's trim this edge. Okay, there's patch number four in. It Actually, the profile needs to be trimmed a little bit across the top because it's not quite 100%. It's also not clamped there, so it's not pulled up at that end, but nevertheless, it's all in there, all welded in solid so I got about an hour before one knock off it's about 7 p.m. Sunday night and uh, I want to see if I can make that piece which shouldn't be that hard I'm sure I've got some scraps around here that are already bent I just have to curve it and then you know weld 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 and uh, at that point I'll weld that up as well weld it to this and uh, that'll probably be it. Then tomorrow 
I'll tackle this big piece here, any of the filler stuff that has to go in here, that flange that's got to come out to about there. I think it lines up with the boat with that, in that plane anyways. Um, so let's get to it. Let's see if we can get this done. Okay, patch five is in, all cleaned up. I uh, blended that edge where it overlapped with that piece in with uh, weld and then uh, ground it down a bit. Probably a little bit too much, but I think it's okay. It still feels pretty damn solid to me. Not the neatest job inside the the channel, but uh, I don't have any... Uh, of, well, where'd they go? Anything like of these that are uh, small enough. Crash bang. Anyways, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, next, uh, or the plan for tomorrow is... Fill this piece in, maybe make the piece that goes around it, and uh, well, we'll see. I might wait, no, I'll wait before I put the piece that goes around the flange. I'll just make the, uh, the piece that goes over top of that first, and then that's pretty much everything done, you know, like on this upper part here. Like there's still this stuff, but I'm going to leave that until later. Um, I don't know, I will probably work on that that's going to be a nightmare during the week but uh, regardless not looking too bad oh yeah there's this flange i have to bring out to about here i forgot about that that's what the fender rests on i did fill this out a bit you know like when i bent this piece over and uh and so it'll tighten up that gap that exists uh you'd see it here it's normally filled with welting i've heard some guys you know uh uh weld it up and uh, that'll probably be what actually ends up happening to that when I put the fender back on. But we'll wait and see. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, rating, commenting, subscribing. You know, whatever. <laughs> Do it all. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys.